Ah, uh, Felix the Cat. Can't believe it's been 90 years. No, nope. a hundred years. A hundred freaking years since Felix the Cat's been around since 1919. There was already lots of merchandises of him. Him everywhere. Sort of. Lots of toys. Including that one I remember as a kid. And that one too. Who? Who? Our favorite cat's been around for a very long time. I'm not gonna mention it's an old cartoon. From the 1950s. And even this one. Baby Felix and his friends. Unfortunately, some of these are not in English. Fantarian dub. What does it stop me to talk about something else that's not the show, but a video game based off the show? What you'll play any second now. Any second now. There we go. Today we're gonna talk about Baby Felix Halloween. Um, I remember reviewing <coughs> the first Felix the Cat game, which is pretty much the only game where you play Felix the Cat in the NES. Anyways, in this Halloween one, they were just waiting for the party of Halloween. And of their friends realize they've been captured, they enter in the haunted house. house and it's up to you who, who either you play Baby Felix or Kitty. Doesn't matter or which character you play, they jump at exactly the same and most of them have different attacks. For instance, Baby Felix can use his hat as a weapon. And like a boomerang. Instead of using the magic bag as a weapon. Just power up. <clears throat> and whenever a baby Felix takes damage, you have to find some hearts to restore health. Not to mention there's lots of levels. Also, you can collect in one ups and not to mention there's a password heard in the game he was so long because you collect enough of them sure this game becomes a bit easy but it'll be a little bit more challenging later on you know the title of baby Felix is Halloween is this one is Halloween world a prehistoric world Outer space. It's pirate world and western world. This game is actually pretty challenging fun to do. Even though I never played it. But it does look pretty good. Not to mention the soundtrack is amazingly good. And the graphics in this game are also amazingly perfect. For a game that came out in 2001. I find this one pretty insipidly good. <clears throat> that actually not have bad. And every inch in on the levels, you'll find the amazing bosses. The 
as long as you have different weapons and charging up, and you can fight every each different boss is at the end of the levels. And once you defeat the bosses, you have to save all your friends are from the show. Oh, and you get a password every each in the levels. That you've seen in every game is a platforming game where you just climb up here, jump here and there. It's just a pretty good game. Also not to mention there is also a Baby Felix Tennis game. Yeah, I'm not lying. I'm not kidding. There's actually a Baby Felix Tennis game for the PlayStation 1 that nobody knows existed. <clears throat> so basically, we got three Felix the Cat games that existed that some people didn't even know. You can like different types of enemies in every each world. Besides birds, of course. Like pumpkins, ghosts, dinosaurs, space aliens, western cowboys, all that stuff. There are only five worlds to go to. And facing the final boss is not uh, the professor from the show, but a giant mutated bee. Like any type of video game, if you lose all your lives, game over. You have to try again. <coughs> And we get the ending of the game saying, Congratulations, you have saved all your friends. You had a wonderful time inside the haunted house. Come on, friends. It's hard to explain everybody are. Sure. Can you believe us? The end. It turns out it's the characters. There's our hero, Fight. Including the Master Sounder, that's from the show as well. And that was Baby Felix. Thanks, Halloween. My thoughts about it? Well, it's actually... Interesting. This game is pretty short, like any type of game from the early 2000s or the late 90s. Games are not as long as they want them to be. You can easily beat this game in less than, like, what shows the number at the bottom here, where I'm pointing, 30 minutes. As long as you avoid most of the enemies. You can you can probably beat this game in less than 20 minutes. It's in speed time. Or, if you're like me, you could just enter the password and easily beat the game in less than 5 minutes straight. Because that's what I usually do in most video games. Just cheat my way to victory. And you don't want to waste too much time, you can Play other different games besides this one. But if you like Felix the Cat, this game is for you. So I gave Baby Felix. And if it wasn't so short, I give this game a 6 out of 10. It's an alright game, but it's pretty short. 
I just wish they add more to it. And add more levels. And add more enemies from the show. Oh, like the, the bulldogs. All kids from Baby Felix and the professor being the final boss. Must be because he's the main villain of the show. It could have been a lot cooler if he was the main final boss of the game. Anyways, leave a like and subscribe and more views to this video if you like Felix the Cat, which I already done months ago. See you y'all in the next video. Bye.